Hello, welcome. My name is Mireille Mettis and I am a holistic therapist in the Netherlands and Europe. And I'm going to explain in this video everything about the Mur method, which is a self-healing method that I developed in 2009. The letters MIR stand for mental and intuitive reset, which means that all your negative thoughts and beliefs will subside, they will go away, and your intuitive state will relax as well, because negative emotions, they will subside and vanish as well. And that will give you great relief. So it will help you relax, it will help you get a nice peace of mind and heart. And that is something I really want to join with you. I want to share it with you because um, MIR, M -I -R, means peace in Russian. And that is exactly what uh, I hope to achieve when I give this method to anyone who wants to listen to it. So MIR means peace and that's all I wish for you, to have peace in your heart and peace in your mind. So when you watch this video you know exactly how to do it and then you can teach others how to use it. You can use it also on children and on animals. All we need to do is trust the self-healing uh, potential of our body. Because our body is extremely strong and extremely capable of healing itself. And we just have to trust that. Okay, how to do it? How do you relax your state of mind? How do you relax your subconscious? You relax your subconscious by touching your skin. Our skin is our largest organ. So when we touch our skin, what happens is you touch... I, I always touch the hand, so you, you stroke your hand. And by doing that, all the nerve endings are being touched they feel a sensation and these nerve endings give through the nerves give a signal to your brain and the signal is hey I'm being touched hmm that feels good hmm I am safe I can relax now everything's fine I'm okay I can relax now so it gives me a state of feeling a kind of feeling of relaxation of peace if you want to give it a try, go ahead. You can stroke with me now. You can feel it. So what you need to know is that you stroke your hand. Very important. You keep on stroking. This is the most important part of it because when you stroke your skin, what happens is in the brain you get the signal. I'm safe. I can relax. I'm fine. So all your walls go down. You feel relaxed, you feel safe. Then what happens is, is when I talk to myself at that moment, I can really hear the commands I'm giving to myself. My subconscious will really listen to the words I'm saying to myself and they will work. They will start off my healing process. It will start off my self-healing again. Okay. So just bear in mind, keep on stroking while you give yourself the commands of the Mer method. Okay, that's all about stroking the hand. Okay, what you need to know next is that the Mer method has nine steps, nine specific commands you need to tell yourself to start off your healing process. These commands have been uh, developed, I found them through muscle testing, kinesiology, touch for health. I'm not sure if you know about it, but it's a very, very good um, technique of being able to com communicate with your body. I used the muscle testing and it gave me all the answers I need, needed to have to give a complete package for a total start off of your uh, self-healing process. All the nine steps help you to get a really healthy immune system again. I'm going to tell you all these nine steps. They are also on the website. When you look below this video, 
you find the nine steps, you can print them, and they have been translated into many languages. So find the steps in your own language and then you stroke them. Because it is best if you use it in your mother tongue. If you use it in the language that you are brought up with. Okay, step one. Step one is optimize acidity. It means you give your body the assignment to optimize your acidity. Acidity is the balance of acid and base in your body. Most of the people have a body that is too acid. When your body is too acid, it cannot function properly. For example, it cannot let go of uh, toxic stuff that is in your body. We really need to detox. We really need to get rid of all the rubbish in our body. So what we do is we detox and it helps when we first make sure our acidity is alright. So you tell yourself to optimize acidity. So it's a very good idea when you start using the Murray method that you drink water. Please drink enough water. Okay. Optimize acidity. What you do is you stroke your hand and at the same time you say three times optimize acidity, optimize acidity, optimize acidity. That's how it works. And now I have relax my mind and I, my body will start to optimize acidity because it can listen to me. The second step of the Murr method is detox all toxicity. It means that you have to detox, let go of all the toxic matter that is inside your body. This can be the residue of medicines, it can be electricity or radiation. Your body does not need to hold on to it your body needs to learn to let go of it. Um, I'm also thinking about um, vaccinations and all the additives that are in vaccinations. I'm thinking about chemicals, um, pesticides, like the, the pesticides that are sprayed on vegetables and on fruits. They need to go out of our body because they are hindering, they are blocking our immune system. We really need to get rid of it and we do this by stroking our hand, giving the assignment, detox all toxicity, detox all toxicity, detox all toxicity. And this will make our body clean itself. So when you have a difference in your stool and in your urine, uh, that's fine. It's a very good signal that the Mer method is working for you. So. Be happy when that happens in the first week or two. The third step is about your uh, connection to your father and mother. What you do is you say to yourself, detach father, detach mother. What you do is you clean yourself from all the things that are inside you that belong to your father. When you think about um, that you have to make good results so your father will be proud of you, that is disturbing your system. So you need to get rid of that. You take your father out of you and you place him next to you with love. So you make sure you are clean from all the things your father has imposed on you or maybe you think he imposed on you. You take it out of your system, you place your father next to you and he will walk his path and you will walk your path. Same goes for the mother. Detach mother, so you take out your mother out of your system, place her next to you, she will walk her path, you will your, walk your path. What you do is you stroke yourself, detach father, detach father, detach father, Detach mother, detach mother, detach mother. It may sound a bit harsh, detaching, but what you do is in fact you give yourself freedom and you give your father freedom. You give your mother freedom. What very often has happened with the Murr method is that the connection between father and you, or mother and you, is improving. 
I've seen families growing back together again. Isn't that wonderful? All right. When you do this, detach father, it means everything, every man you have come across in your life uh, will be detached as well. So maybe a husband who is no longer with you, um, a brother and a son, maybe a school teacher, they will all be out of your system. When you say detach mother, you detach all the women you have come across in your life. Maybe grandmother, maybe an aunt, maybe a teacher at school, maybe a girlfriend, maybe a sister and uh, maybe a daughter. So they all will go out of your system and you will be free. You'll have more inner peace. Step four, clear meridians. Meridians are energy pathways in our body and we learned this from the Chinese. The Chinese traditional medicine is a very powerful way of healing people. The Chinese use uh, energy pathways like as in uh, acupuncture and they know that all these energy pathways in your body when they are blocked it gives complaints, it gives um, it may give pain, it may give cramps in your body and the blockages in these meridians have to go. So what you do is you stroke your hand and you say clear meridians, clear meridians, clear meridians. That is all and your whole system of meridians will start to reset, it will start to open up and will start to clean all its blockages. Step 5 Supplement all shortages. This means that your body needs to add new nutritions. When your immune system has to function optimally, when it has to function really good, it needs nutritions. It needs good food. So what happens? You stroke yourself, supplement all shortages, supplement all shortages, supplement all shortages. What happens is your body starts to add nutrition. It means that your behavior in, in getting food may change. Some of the things you normally eat or drink will start to taste not as good as before. And other food will start to taste really good. And you are maybe craving for like nuts or fruit or vegetables. Maybe you start to feel really thirsty and you really want to drink water, water, water. Because when you drink water, you start to clean yourself. So it's very uh, nice when you use this one. You, you start to feel that your body is changing and your eating habits will change as well. Something very important to know, when you look at a cell, this is a cell, a component of your body, it may not be able to let nutrition go inside this cell. Now when you do the MER method, when you do all nine steps, they all work together to make the membrane of the cell, the outside of the cell, to make it open again. So it will open up and let nutrition get inside. And that's very important because you need to have the nutrition inside your cells to be healthy. Okay, so that's what step five does. Step six. Your body has a very, very beautiful system of dealing with imbalances. That's the hormone system. The hormone system is really very complex. The medical scientists, they know so much about it. And yet they still don't know so much about it because there is so much more to explore. What we know up till now is that we have like eight different organs and glands that they combine all together like the hypothalamus, hypothesis, epif epiphysis, I think you say in English, epiphysis, thyroid gland, the thymus, we have the adrenal glands, we have the pancreas, and uh, for, the, uh, for the men it's the testicles, and for the women's ovaries. So it's a huge complex system, because all these glands are giving off hormones. They work together, actually, so they get each other's hormones, and then they start dealing with it. They can change, they can give off more or less hormones. Now, this determines a lot in our body with our immune system. So 
So when the hormone system is functioning properly, it gives you a very good chance of good health. So it's very important to have our hormone system balanced. What you do is balance hormone system, balance hormone system, balance hormone system. This is a very important step and you can understand that all the other steps are working together. So when you get rid of emotions in your body, your hormone system will function better. When the supplements of all shortages, when it's done, when you say you have more proteins in your body, your body can start to, to um, create hormones. So it's very important to have those proteins inside your body. So now you see a little bit of all the steps working together. So never leave out a step. All nine steps should be used. Okay, let's go to step seven. Fulfill basic needs. When you have had in your childhood a lack of warmth, of love, of respect, of recognition, of encouragement, of passion, of comforting, uh, of security, maybe your childhood was not so safe and when you're at a, a state of uh, alert, that you're alert all the time because of the danger that may come, your system is really not balanced and not at peace. Unfortunately, nobody else can fulfill those basic needs ever again. So you can try to get it from your husband or your wife or from your teacher or from your boss. Unfortunately, that does not work. You are the only one that can fulfill your own basic needs. You do it this way. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs, fulfill basic needs. What happens is the respect that I was lacking, it will grow inside me and I will feel respect for myself. The love I was missing, I will have it grow inside myself and I will start to love myself. And the recognition that I'm waiting for, for from other people I will give it to myself, I will recognize myself, I will, feel I will feel proud of myself. And this is a wonderful step because it gives really deep inner peace, you can imagine. Step 8. This is a more spiritual step. I really love that it's in the mirror method. I was surprised when I was muscle testing that I needed to have this one in there. But on the other hand, it's absolutely no surprise because chakras and aura, the step is uh, optimize chakras and aura. Your chakras are energy wheels inside your body and they need to open up. They need to be strong and they need to be working. And when that happens, you'll be such a more total person. Let's say there's an, uh, a chakra over here. When it's open and free, you will be able to communicate properly and you will be able to tell your own truth. And that's freedom. Okay, so that's a, just one example of what all the chakras can do. Your aura, those are the colors around you. When they are bright, when they're shining, when your aura is good balanced, then it helps you to deal with the energy of other people. The energy of other people will not come inside you very quickly. And on the end, even better, you will be able to help others when they are inside your aura. They will start to feel better. You will be able to heal others as well. Okay, first of all, you will heal yourself. You'll do it this way. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. That's all. I notice I'm stroking really quickly, that's because I'm a quick person, I like doing things quickly. You can also stroke really slow and lovingly, that's fine, it's just up to you what your character is like, what you like best of all. So you can really stroke really slowly, that's fine, optimize chakras and aura, optimize chakras and aura, optimize chakras and aura. Okay. Step 9. Clarify mission. I was very, very happy when I found this step. 
I never expected this one to be in the MER method. I was muscle testing, I was finding out, finding out do I need to have more in the MER method? Yes was the answer. What do I need to have in there? And it had to do something with mission. I was thinking what do I need to do in... What does mission have to do with the MER method? Then I knew, okay, when I'm clean again, when I'm filled up again, when I'm in balance, then I get all this new energy. And then what do I do with it? Well, let's focus, let's direct it on my purpose in life. What am I here for? Why am I on this earth? What can I contribute? And then everything in your system will align and you will be able to do exactly what you were meant to be. You discover new things in your life. You will come across people that give you information or give you ideas of what you can do. And that's a very nice journey. You will come across these coincidental meetings with people who will, who will sort of direct you on your path. Or maybe you will start to feel like, oh, this job I'm in, I'm not really happy in this job. Or maybe you got fired, you don't have a job. Then maybe something inside you will tell you what to do. And maybe you will start working with other people, growing vegetables or fruits or whatever. So something in your path of life will start to change and you will start to feel much more happy once you're on that path. So what you do is clarify mission, clarify mission, clarify mission. Okay, now you know. You know the stroking of the hand. You know all the nine steps. And what you do now is you uh, start using it. You stroke your hand and you say all nine steps right after one after another. You say it out loud, but you can also say it inside your head. Something very important you need to know before you start, and that is that when you have a lack of nutrition, it means especially when you, are, you have a burnout, or you have extreme fatigue, or you have a disease, a chronic disease, you probably are very low on nutrition. You cannot start with all nine steps, you have to start safely. Then what you do is you start with step 5 and step 7 only. And these are supplement all shortages, supplement all shortages, supplement all shortages, fulfill basic needs, fulfill basic needs, fulfill basic needs. That's all. Okay? You do this one twice a day for two weeks. And after that you can start with all nine steps. And all nine steps you do that for four weeks. Okay. Let me just do all nine steps with you. So you see what it looks like. It takes about one minute and fifty seconds I think. Okay, here we go. Optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Optimize acidity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detox all toxicity. Detach father. Detach father. Detach father. Detach mother. Detach mother. Detach mother. Clear meridians. Clear meridians. Clear meridians. Supplement all shortages. Supplement all shortages. Supplement all shortages. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Balance hormone system. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs. Fulfill basic needs. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Optimize chakras and aura. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. Clarify mission. That's all. You do this twice a day.
for four weeks. After that, you let go of the mer method, just put it away for a while, and then feel what happens inside your body. When you need to have the mer method, when you when you have enough complaints and you want to go on, just pick up the mer method again, start using it, it again for a week or two weeks, and then put it away again. The, the, your immune system, your entire system will continue its work for at least 19 months. So you start it off in the four, first four weeks and after that your whole system will continue to work for 19 months in a row. And you can help yourself by picking it up again once in a while and make it work again. You don't have to, it's up to you. Okay, if you are using medication, please continue to use your medication. You, your doctor gave it to you, it is important that you use it. You didn't get the medications for nothing, so keep using it. And please continue your conversation with your doctor and when uh, you feel you, you can let go of the medication, consult your doctor first. Okay? I really respect doctors very, very deeply because they know so much about the body and they can really help you. What I found, find the best challenge is that doctors will start to um, combine their work with the more alternative medication, the alternative methods. I know several doctors who are using the Mer method in their practice. They know what it's like and they are combining it with their practice. So that's my, uh, my biggest wish that uh, we can combine both worlds. Right, now you know how to do the Mer method, you know all nine steps. Please use it freely, teach it to others, show them this video and uh, let them give it a try. Thank you for watching. I'm very grateful that you took the time to watch the video. Um, if you notice any results, please put them on our website as a testimonial so you can encourage others to use it as well. Thank you for embracing the Mer Method and I hope it will do you much, much good. Thank you.